Hey guys, Lewis here, and I'm back to continue the session. I ended up taking some medicine and took about a two hour nap, and we are hopping right back in. We had just left the church with Pavle. Unfortunately, I did have to load it up. Uh, this time, though, Katya is the only one sick, so I guess that's kind of better. Once again, don't really like how inconsistent this is, because it's really RNG, but I guess it's worked in our favor. Night was calm, didn't find much stuff, but Katya is sick. We do have plenty of mes medicine. It is a odd day, so therefore we need to eat. Pavle, you will eat canned food and go straight to sleep, my friend. Roman, while you're down there, grab that moonshine. Hopefully Franco shows up soon. Alright, Pavle, go straight to sleep, buddy. You, oh, no, somebody's already over there. You go over here, then. Alright, Katya, you are sick, so you need to take medicine. Uh, we'll give you some herbal meds for the time being. Roman, uh, I mean, you might as well rest for now. Oh, food is done. Or, I mean, our traps are in. Alright, Bruno, go upstairs, start cooking. Uh, Zlata, you might as well get up. Make yourself useful around here. I mean, oh, you're finally not sick anymore. That's great. Alright, so as soon as you're done here, you are going to help around the base. Shelter. I keep saying base as if it was XCOM or something. Alright, make at least free meals, because we don't have much water to play around with right now. Alright, Zata. Let's put in some fertilizer. Grab this one. Check the bio updates in a bit. Alright, let's see. More fertilizer in. Where is Katya? Did I send her to bed yet? Yeah, she's in bed. Alright, Zata, why don't you go upstairs, get something to eat. Bruno, you have yourself a canned, pe canned food. Alright, we should be getting a visitor soon. So, more of Bruno's story. It was too late. The siege was on. We were already cut off. All rides to my town were cancelled, and it was also too late to do anything for my friend anyway. I should have thought about that before I lulled her into a false sense of security. I don't know what happened to her. Most likely I'll never learn, but I fear the worst. Don't give up, Bruno. She's probably still out there. Alright, Bruno. You go to bed now. Alright. Roman, you can go eat as well. Zata, you are completely healthy. Why don't you go check the radio? Katya, I need you to go upstairs because you need to eat as well. Nope, doesn't look like anybody's showing up today. That's unfortunate. Maybe Franco will show up tomorrow to help us out with the components. Nothing here. News there. Alright, we're good for now. Let's check our stuff. Water, definitely could use more of. We can use the last of our components to get water. Which I think I have to do at this point. Oh, we also have to put fuel in. Roman, can you take care of that for me? In the meantime, while Zlata makes uh, two filters. Alright. Roman, you go put in some fuel. Katya, you go eat. What is that music? What is that? <laughs> Alright, Pavle. Uh, you go ahead and take care for Roman. Roman, you go back to bed because you need to recover and you're tired. You too, Katya. You need to go to bed. Uh, Zlata, you can actually go play the guitar. And... In the meantime, actually, Pavle can take care of the water instead of Bruno. Alright. Give us some more water. Actually, it's the same song Katya plays, actually. Still a nice melody, though. Alright, that taken care of. 
Let's have Pavle go downstairs, see what we can do. Not much, honestly. Got plenty of trading materials. Two bottle of moonshine, the broken shotgun, and we can always trade a few raw pieces of food if need be. Uh, but we do need to make fuel. That's what I was going for. Yeah, how much fuel do we have left? We have one. Alright, so we need plenty of fuel. Got 39 left. Might as well make five. Alright, she's not tired anymore, but she's recovering. He's still recovering. Still recovering. But hey, we now have two people who aren't sick. Hooray! Pavle, you go over there and admire Zlata's musical skills. It is quite nice. Alright, nobody's showing up. That's unfortunate. Hopefully Franco shows up tomorrow with a bag full of components and fuel. Let's end the day. Alright, where do we go? I mean, we could go back to the church again. There was a couple of piles of uh, stuff we didn't actually grab because we never saw it before. Let's see. Lots of food, lots of meds, huge amount of weapons, some parts, caution advised because of the bandits. I mean, I think we should go. Go for it. Alright, so we are going to be taking Pavle, uh, Bruno, I don't know. Katya, you're definitely sleeping in bed. Zata, you're definitely on guard duty. Bruno's our cook, so we don't want him sick. Uh, we'll put Roman on guard for tonight. So those two will sleep in the bed, those two will guard, and Pavle will scavenge. And we will, of course, take a knife. Once again, I'd rather have Roman out there, but we are scavenging, so the extra two backpack space will help out. Plus, Roman's sick, so I don't want to take him out and then get him sick again. Alright, let's try this again. Get up there quickly as you can. Knowing my luck, it's going to be a bunch of shell casings and gunpowder or electronic parts, because that's what it always is. I don't know how I missed that though. I must have pulled out my knife at some point uh, when I saw the bandit and just never paid attention. I mean, I could try to go for another kill tonight, but there's a couple, several bandits, at least three from what I could tell. So there was the one upstairs, then the two that went to the downstairs room, which looked like the bed area. But let's see what we can find in here, shall we? Yep, shell casing, what do you know? Yep, more shell casings, yes! Yes, this is definitely what I wanted. Oh wow, look at that, what a haul. This episode's gonna be called Casings. I'm casing the joint. As we steal their shell casings. Alright, let's sneak on through here. We'll head to this hiding spot. Ah, there is someone there. Someone upstairs as well. Let's see which direction he's facing. Okay, they're going that way. He's facing that way. He's got camo on, so I'm pretty sure he's a bandit as well. He's moving on. The other one went upstairs, that's the thing. And I don't have a quick escape because I think that door is locked. There's a hiding spot here. 
We'll hide here. Let's see what he's doing first. Okay, he's sleeping. Okay. Go back in hiding. You know, let's try opening the door. See what happens. Backstab him! Stab him! Stab him! Stab him! Run! We'll hide until they forget us. Come out, you bastard! Uh-oh. Oh, crap! What the hell? What? What? I meant to backstab him and then I walked out instead. Like a doof. Alright, they're still running around down there. I'm not moving. Bavla, you stay hidden now. There's too many of them. Well, two of them. Alright, we can probably backstab this guy. Get him! Stab him in the knee! Alright, let's scavenge real quick. This is obviously gonna have adverse effects on Pavle, though, because he's killed two people already. I mean, one before that, but two people tonight. Alright, a pistol. Equip the knife and the pistol. Go back downstairs. There's still one more body I want to get at. I know it's really greedy. The other ran off, though. Alright, let's move to this one, quickly. It's already 2 o'clock. Alright, the other one was in the bedroom over here. I didn't get a chance because I caused a lot of noise while we were fighting. Move to the next hiding spot. Seems clear. Quickly go to scavenge. Loot. Ah, uh, stealing, huh? Well, I'm stealing from bandits. We need supplies. Ooh, not bad. We could always trade that away. What do you got here? Take all that. We're gonna run, though. We'll finish this guy off some other time. A lot of herbal meds. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, Pavle, you're gonna be feeling the effects of this one. I'm sorry, buddy. You got free kills under you. I almost got you killed several times. Oh. Who would have thought that we'd be killing in a church? I mean, at least we're not killing in the hospital. That's one good thing, right? Not a bad haul. Got weapons, ammo, casings, herbal meds. Obviously, the most valuable thing out of that is the casings. Because <laughs> we find so much of it. So rare. I mean, it's not like I find it everywhere I go, right? Alright. Let's see how bad... Pavle will be tomorrow. Hey, we finally passed the winter! Day 34, guys, and Pavle is back. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. Good job, Pavle. Zlata clearly isn't well. Aww. Really, Zlata, you're sick again? You just got better. <clears throat> Alright, well, in that case, Pavle, you go to sleep, buddy. Uh, we got food in our traps, though. Uh, Katya, why don't you get up? Zata, you need to take some medicine. Bruno, let's go make some moonshine. Roman, um, I mean, you might as well just sleep. Katya, go back. Finish the job. Where are you going? Alright, 
Make a bottle of moonshine, Bruno. Alright, Zata's on meds now, she can go sleep. Oh, I was I was sad. Zata's sick again. Alright, Bruno, you can go to sleep. Uh, you can go to sleep down here next to the vegetable garden since that's almost done. And Katya can go ahead and reset the traps. More fertilizer. No, Bruno, no. Okay, whatever. Alright, uh... What? What is going on? What? What's wrong with my mouse? Huh. Did I break it? <clears throat> I don't know. Weird. Alright. She's sick again, tired, and hungry. Hungry, slightly sick, still recovering. Hungry and tired. Hungry, slightly sick, and tired. Hungry and slightly sick. Hopefully someone drops by to trade us today. Uh, what do we have, though? We have some components. Not much. You need to get that bottle of moonshine, but hopefully Pavle will get up to grab that. Oh, well, you know, Franco's already here. Alright, get up. You need to trade with him. Have a look at what I brought. Alright. Well, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of components. Got a field too. A lot of field too. But I don't know if I'll need it. Let's see. Two bottles of moonshine. How much components can you give me? Won't do. Try harder. Fine, we can have a deal. Can I get some water? No. Alright. Deal. Alright. We got some guns on us too. Would you like some of that? Give you a pistol. For a pistol, what can you give me? All of your components? Let's take all your water. All your sugar. Oh, too much. Uh, we'll give you some shell casings on top of that pistol. How about that? Does that sound good? Going for a lot here. Alright. Eight shell casings on the pistol for 12 components, 9 sugar, and free water. Not bad. I don't really use pistols anyway. I use shotguns. Rarely. Alright, we'll give him an assault rifle as well. We'll get it something valuable out of this. Maybe that canned food of your offer is damn impressive. You bet. Maybe I'll take some herbal meds. I don't know. We are still getting sick. But then again, we've passed the winter months, so I'm not too worried. Let's take all your parts. Give you a diamond on top of it. Take all your wood and slowly subtract. There we go. That bottle of moonshine is almost done. Is anybody up? Not yet. Alright, in the meantime, Katya, go sit down. We'll let Franco sit, stand there at the doorway. Alright, Pavle is done. Pavle, get over there to the moonshine. Pavle, to the rescue! As he rushes for the moonshine and he makes the save! And then passes to Katya. I have no idea what that was about, honestly. Alright. Another bottle of moonshine. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have a broken shotgun we can trade. Uh, what do you want for it? We'll take the rest of his wood. Can we get his herbal meds? No, it won't do. Try harder. Well, if I were to take away the wood. Nope. Still too much. I mean, I could do with his fuel. Try harder. Yeah, might as well take all of his fuel so we don't have to keep converting our own wood. Uh, give him some more shell casings. There we go. That pushed it over. We'll give you some food. We got plenty of food. We'll take your medicine because we keep getting sick. generous of me. I'll take your bottle of medicine. Now this is gonna be hefty. Alright, we'll give you another piece of raw food or two and a bunch of shell casings. Alright, so five pieces of raw food, nine shell casings, a broken shotgun, and a bottle of moonshine for herbal meds, a bottle of med medicine, three pieces of wood, and... 
forgot how to count there. Ten pieces of fuel. Alright. I got all your valuables. I mean, I would like to bandage, but I'm doing fine. Thank you. Bye-bye. Alright. Let's go make some stuff. Alright, Katya. Let's make two water filters. How are the others doing? They're doing alright. Alright, Pavle, get yourself into position to put the water filters in. And then Katya can go to rest. Well, right, and then Katya can go rest. There we go. We'll check the radio too. Oh wait, no, Bruno, don't get up. Not yet. Pavle, go over here. Install the next filter. Now I'm trying to think. I'm going back to the church again. I know for sure in a previous playthrough, there's at least another graded area. Not the one near the beginning, but it's somewhere in the house. I think it cuts off like a storage room of some sort. So we're going to make a saw blade. That's for sure. Uh, we could repair this uh, helmet, actually. Yeah, we, I mean, we might as well. But we'll go ahead and make a saw blade first. We'll repair the helmet. We'll have it uh, probably take it with him. Something as a novelty as well as to protect his head. I mean, he was a football player. So, I mean, he could charge him. Let's go ahead and make a helmet. Although, honestly, fighting those guys aren't too bad, but I'd rather have the extra protection on Pavle, just in case. But then I want to loot, so... I'll take the risk and go without a helmet, but I'll leave the helmet back here, just in case. <laughs> That's the plan. Alright, let's check the radio and then be on our way. Ah, fresh vegetables are becoming a rare commodity in Pokerin. Their prices will gradually be rising according to our analysts. Well, what do you know? We have some vegetables growing right now, but we're going to be converting that to fertilizer. We're happy to announce it's getting warmer. The temperature should continue to rise in the upcoming days. This may bring some relief to the citizens of Pogarin. It's definitely brought relief to me, that's for sure. Our water situation will be slightly more rectified, but we need a steady flow of components. I wonder if the military outpost sells components. If they do, I may just make a bunch of moonshine and just visit them as much as I can so I can get components. Who knows? We're doing good on medicine. Got a pretty health, healthy stockpile of bandages and medicine. I mean, look at this. Eight, medi eight herbal meds, 11 bottles of medicine, nine bandages. Our food supply is looking great. Not so much on the canned food. That's five, but we went through a lot of it in the winter. But we got 18 raw food. That's pretty awesome. It's rather chilly inside. We should think about heating. It's, it's warm again. Don't worry. Get these vegetables. How much water do we have, actually? 20, so every time we plant vegetables, it takes 10. So we won't plant this time. We'll just take the vegetables. Once he's done with that, we'll end the day. All right, heading back to the church. Uh, Zlata, you are sick, so you're sleeping in the bed. Katya, you're sleeping in the bed. Actually, no, you can guard. Bruno, you sleep in the bed because you're our cook and we need you cooking tomorrow. And Roman, you can guard. Everything seems in order. Let's go scavenging with Pavle. Take a knife. And a saw blade. Uh, too bad we don't have a upgraded um, metal workshop so we can repair the damaged vest into a actual bulletproof vest. That way we can maximize our survival. Especially against those bandits in the warehouse. They might become my next target. Once I clear out the ones in the church. Alright, go Pavle. Go. You know, it's funny. Pavle's got the most kills out of all of us. So he might get negatively impacted. I think at the end. Who knows. Uh, but I hope not. But it is bandits. So he shouldn't be sad about it. Um... But what I, I just had an amusing thought is like, Pavle's come back to this church several times and killed several bandits, and 
I think there's one guy left. He's probably crapping himself at the idea of Pavle coming back. And Pavle is just going to show up around the corner. He's like, here's Pavle. And he's holding up his knife. <laughs> That'd be so creepy. <laughs> oh, he's right there, actually. Let's switch to the knife. Oh, there's at least two people left. Okay, so one's here. One's upstairs. Unless that's a rat. But I doubt it, because it's just standing still. He's going downstairs. Honestly, I should have opened this door to lure him out this way. Actually, no, he wouldn't. He'd probably just notice me. Alright, he's going in there now, probably to sleep. I think we go upstairs for the, the guy upstairs. Not gonna worry about looting right now. Let's take a look through here. It, yeah, he's very up there. He's on the move as well. We need to find a hiding spot somewhere. There's one. They got pretty good beds here. Alright, gotta keep an eye on the doors downstairs. Yep, this guy's moving. They're probably on a patrol route. Alright, so I miscalculated. There is at least two guys left. Looks like he's standing in the uh, kitchen. I think that's a fridge. Wasting time here. Come on, move. Coming downstairs, I think. There he is. Get him! What was that? Get him! Get him! Alright, go hide, quick! No, those fuckers will pay! No, we hit. That's weird, it gave us the backstab option. But it didn't do anything. Why is he running upstairs? Probably thinks we're upstairs. Or he's hiding. We'll wait for him to come back down. We'll be patient. Pavle is a patient person. Here's Pavle. And his knife. Coming for you. What I think I'll do is I'll make a noise somewhere directly beneath him. Well, let's see if there's a hiding spot in here first. Yeah, there is. Alright, perfect. That's what I need. We'll make a noise down here. We'll bash the door down. No. What was that? He phased through the door. This is door simulator here. Come on, I'm making as much noise as I can. It's probably like hiding up there. Alright, let's scavenge this dead guy then. We'll come back for you. I don't got time for this. Oh, uh, he's got nothing on him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll come back for you. I might actually do another episode. My throat is actually feeling up to the task. Oh, only sugar here. Well, that's fine. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use that saw blade. I think there is a saw blade door in here somewhere, right? Let's go downstairs. Maybe it's in the basement. We gotta make a run soon, though. It's already 3 o'clock. I miscalculated. Ah, there is a saw blade. Might as well use it now. There's a fridge there, but I don't know if I have enough time to get it and run back. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. We gotta go. We killed one guy. Yeah, I'm gonna do another session. The, this was really bad because they just didn't wander into our ambushes too quickly. 
And Pavle is running to the exit now. So I'm going to do another episode. So I saw... Like I said, I thought I was going to do a free episode session, but I'm actually getting into the game and my throat is feeling up to it, and I feel less stuffy now that I take, took some medicine. So I think I can do one more episode for this session. Go, Pavle, go! Before the snipers get you! Pavle has claimed yet another victim! Maybe we'll send Roman next, I don't know. No, I think I'll still take Pavle just because he has a bigger backpack space. I don't know if those, this will uh, accumulatively uh, impact him in the end. Because the more horrible things they do in war, the more grim their future is in the end. So here we are on day 35. And I'm, why I mean grim is like what, after they survive the war, if they survive the war. Sorry, no luck tonight. I'll look harder next time. It's okay. It's because of that one guy. You got sugar, though. We've been raided, though. Pavle has been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. We brought home three pieces of sugar cubes, and we used up two ammunitions, fending off a bunch of attackers. Alright, so I'm gonna end this episode here, and then pick it up one more time for the last episode for this session. So, that's it for episode 16 of This War of Mine. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.